As Sri Lanka celebrates 73 years of independence, the president made a number of pledges to the people of Sri Lanka. Good evening, this is the talk of the town and here are your top stories for today. Sri Lanka celebrated her 73rd National Independence Day under the theme Isurmat Hetadinak, so Bagemat Maubimak at the Independence Square in Colombo. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year's Independence Day celebrations were held in an accordance with health guidelines. The Inspector General of Police, Commanders of Three Armed Forces and the Secretary of Defence were the first to arrive at the Independence Square. The President addressing the nation says that he will remain true to the pledge to protect our nation's independence, unitary status, territorial integrity and sovereignty on behalf of our future generations. As China, India and the United States of America have extended their wishes for our Independence Day, Japan has informed Sri Lanka that the country's decision on the East Container Terminal is one-sided and disappointing. According to India's Hindu newspaper, Japanese Ambassador to Sri Lanka Akira Sugiyama had expressed this when they met yesterday. The Hindu says that the ECT project was expected to showcase India-Japan cooperation in a part of South Asia where Chinese infrastructure projects have been prominent. The Hindu adds that Japan has given a loan of 1.3 trillion yen to Sri Lanka along with technical assistance.